What's up, Springfield Nation? Steve Leslie, YSN Live, your home of Springfield sports all season long and awful proud of it. Another player profile sponsored by WRS Insurance Solutions. We can't thank them enough for all their support all year and all the support they give Springfield Athletics. Proud to be joined by senior, let's get through this, volleyball, or I'm sorry, soccer player, cheerleader, and track season is that is coming up soon here. We are with Lexi Warner from the Springfield Tigers. Lexi, thanks for joining the show. For having me, Steve. All right, let's uh, let's Lex, let's start talk a little bit about your family. Let Springfield Notion, Nation know a little bit about Lexi. So I'm part of the Warner family. Um, I have four younger brothers who are all very active in the Springfield um, community. I have Gavin, who's a football player. I have the twins who aren't very involved in sports, but they're always willing to lend a helping hand. And then I have Eli, my youngest, who's in seventh grade, who's also a football player and track athlete. So we're all very involved. Our parents are very supportive of the school um, concession stand working constantly. So we're all volunteering and helping out around town. Well, that's awesome. Shout out to the Warner family. No doubt to, to all your family. Thanks for all you do and all you're able to do for your family in Springfield. I know they're awful proud of you as a senior this year, Lex. I guess my first question, let, let's go uh, let, Let's go back to uh, soccer a little bit. Your senior year, uh, there was a point we talked with a lot of players and students that maybe did not look like a season was going to play. Talk about that a little bit, your senior season, how important it was, and obviously – I know how important it was for your family with your parents' support. Talk about that a little bit. So going into the summer, everything was very wishy-washy to see if we'd ever have a season. Uh, starting out practice, we were in pods, and everyone would show up. There'd be eight of us in a pod. We'd show up. We'd have our hour practice, and we'd go home. And then phase two hit, and we were able to be together, but we weren't allowed to touch anything with each other, so we all had our own soccer ball. And then finally, it wasn't until phase three, which was in August, till we realized that, hey, this is actually going to happen. And then once we had that first game, everything started to click. We were all connecting very well. Um, we knew it was going to be a good year. We had some good seniors leading us, and then we also had our right behind us. Um, our underclassmen didn't disappoint either. We had our goalkeeper, Caitlin Capelli, who was a sophomore this year and did phenomenal. And then we had a couple of freshman starters that were also stepping up to the plate so it was an awesome season um ending undefeated for the regular season which was very exciting to do well that's awesome we're with lexi warner springfield senior soccer player cheerleader and track star coming up here soon in the spring but let, let's be honest i, I want to talk to you a little bit about cheerleading i i think all of us at ysn know how important cheerleading is uh know the time that's spent by cheerleaders the cheerleading advisor, uh, being there for football and obviously basketball. Talk a little bit about that. Give a little shout out to your cheerleading squad, obviously your cheerleading advisor, uh, and talk about how different maybe this cheerleading season has been compared to the football season the year previous. So every year we usually compete at Canfield and have a showcase. Um, during this year, though, we weren't able to have that. So getting ready for football season was a little different because we weren't learning a dance. We weren't getting ready for competition. So that was a different aspect. We were able to teach the freshmen a little more, get one-on-one -on -one with them to have them know the years and be ready for their next four years of their high school career. Um, as for cheerleading, it's a big part of my life. I was a competitive gymnast for nine years, so I always loved to tumble. So I always look forward to the game to showcase that um, talent that I've able to create over the few years so it's part of my favorite part I love smiling getting the crowd involved our our coaches do a lot for us and then it's just been fun getting to share the memories with my senior cheerleaders this year well that's awesome to hear at Springfield Nation she's a good one the smile is priceless and and I was able to meet Lexi at the Tigers table where Lexi works uh thank you to Joe for allowing Lexi to run this player profile while Lexi gets prepared to work Lex, I'm going to say it. I cannot wait. Tomorrow, Springfield will play Camel Memorial uh, in a tournament game, YSNlive.com. I know Joe will have it on at the Tigers table. Folks, that's where I will be tomorrow night. The best food around, the best fish dinner around is at the Tigers table. So, Lexi, I look forward to that. But uh, how different was it this cheerleading season? I, I think I'm correct in saying you're only allowed to cheer the home games, correct? The, the away games, you can't go. 
How different has this basketball and football season been for you cheerleaders? So starting off with football, it was very different. We were used to getting to travel with our boys and getting to go to all these away games, where this year we were only allowed the limited. It was three home games. Um, luckily, we were able to succeed very well in the playoffs with getting into the state um, finals again. Um, once we hit playoffs, as long as we were the team, we were able to travel. And then once we got into the state semis and the state finals, we were able to go and travel with the team, which was very exciting since we weren't able to do any of that prior to the year. Um, as for basketball, it kind of stinks not being able to travel with the boys to their away games since that is half of their season. Um, we're hoping to make a great playoff run as we go against Camel tomorrow. So we're hoping, fingers crossed, that we'll have quite a few more games to get to cheer on our boys. Well, I I'm going to say this. I I'm sure the, the basketball team and I know the football team uh, know how awful important cheerleaders are to a solid program. You guys have a great cheerleading squad. I'm excited for you because Springfield's a high seed. So if they keep winning, there's more home games for the Springfield cheerleaders to be a part of. But, you know, hats off to what you do with cheerleading and the time spent. I was glad to do this interview with you because cheerleading is as important as any other sport that we cover. There's time spent. Uh, there's parents that are proud of their daughters and, uh, you guys do a great, great job. But we're with Lexi Warner, player profile. She's a senior at Springfield. Springfield fans, I'm going to say this. I was at the Tigers table last Friday watching Lexi watch the Waterloo game on TV. And what she has said in this interview is the absolute truth. The smile she had, um, the intenseness of watching that game on TV and working uh, got me to lead to get to her and get this interview. And uh I'm thankful I did it. I, I'm proud of uh, the Tigers table. I'm proud of YSN. We're proud to be a part of Springfield Athletics. It's a great environment and uh, something that you should all be very proud of at uh, Springfield. So my next question is, as a senior um, and for your families and maybe some of your students, let's talk a little YSN. How important has YSN been for Springfield Local Athletics for all the fans and the families that are not able to get a ticket. Talk about what your thoughts are of all of us at YSN. So I actually had a personal experience where YSN was very helpful for me and my dad. Um, I high school rodeo and I'm currently the Ohio High School Rodeo Queen. So I had to miss one of the playoff football games, so I wasn't able to cheer at it. But dad hooked it up. We had the TV all hooked up outside the trailer. We had some couple boys from Indiana watching the game from up with us down at um, London, Ohio. So it was a great experience. Um, it was fun. It was very nerve wracking getting to watch the game from that far. My boyfriend got hurt. So that was nerve wracking hearing his name come across the TV. But I was very grateful that you guys were able to have it. I know my grandparents have been helpful and loving it because they were able to watch the games from Florida. So it's just been a great experience getting to watch the games from work if I'm not able to attend the games. So I appreciate everything you guys have done for us. Well, well, we appreciate families like you and student athletes like you. All right, I'm going to put you on the spot here, your boyfriend. Give him a little shout out on YSN Live in this interview. So my boyfriend is Zeke Forsencroft, number 72, offensive left tackle. Um, I've loved watching him. I've loved cheering him on through football seasons. Sad next year since it's his senior year that I'll be sitting in the stands, but also the biggest cheerleader this year. Well, that's awesome to hear. So shout out there uh, to your boyfriend and his family and all the great season that they all had in football. All right, let's, let's jump into, uh, or with Lexi Warner, player profile, let's jump into a little track. How excited is uh, the Springfield Lady Tigers for this track season? Um, I'm very excited to finally get to go and get track started this year. Um, since track got cut short, we got a new hurdle coach, Coach Jenkins. Um, he was a college coach, so I'm a hurdler, so I was very excited to have him on board with us for the season. Saw him setting up some hurdles today um, out of the track to get ready for Monday, and I can't wait to see where the season takes us. Um, 300 hurdles are my favorite event, so looking forward to getting some hurdles done. Well, we're looking forward to watching you in action. I'm going to ask you, my goodness, how do you fit all this in? Um, Soccer, <laughs> cheerleading, track, rodeo, work, school, family. How tough is that? Tell everybody about that. Sometimes how tough can that be? Oh, it's crazy busy. Um, we have a big calendar on our fridge every day. We always have to <laughs> check it, make sure everyone knows who's picking what up, who's doing what. Um, I love staying busy. I hate sitting at home. 
during quarantine, it was the worst because I was tired of sitting at home. I've always been active. I spent 30 hours a week at the gym when I was a gymnast. So I've always been busy since a young age. So it's just natural for me to always be busy, always on my toes. Well, once you get a routine, stay with that routine. And Springfield fans, she does a great job of it. All right, Lex, let's go. Uh, senior year's going really fast. Let's go. Uh, what does Lexi want to do after she graduates from Springfield High School? So I'm planning on attending YSU for nursing. Um, a lot of people in the community have encouraged me to, to try out for YSU Spirit Squad this upcoming year. And I think I'm going to end up trying out just to see if I can make it. Um, I hope it will work out, and I hope to get to cheer on Clay as he goes on for kicking at YSU and hope to keep that connection. Well, I'm going to say this. Try out for the cheerleading squad, please. <laughs> they could use that pretty smile face. Uh, no doubt you do a great job with that. Let, let's get into some school. Uh, Lexi's favorite class you had at Springfield, what is it? Um, my favorite class had to be um, Mrs. Krupa. It's her anatomy class. Um, I've always wanted to go into the medical field, so I was looking forward to getting to take her class last year. So right. definitely anatomy class. All right, so Mrs. Krupa's class, shout out to you. So off of that, favorite teacher at Springfield, shout out a couple teachers that are your favorites. This is your shot. Um, my favorite teachers would have to be um, Mrs. Friedenberg, who teaches algebra. Um, I love Krupa, who was my anatomy teacher. Um, Ms. Constant, who's my English teacher this year. So this is probably my top three favorite teachers. Well, shout out to all of them. They do a great job with, with Springfield student athletes year in and year out. Uh, we know you're going to be nothing but successful, Lexi. I have thoroughly enjoyed doing this interview. Uh, appreciate all that you do for all of us at YSN. We are so proud to be a part of Springfield Local Athletics. We'll have the game for you. If you can watch, maybe you'll see Lexi on the sidelines cheering with the great cheerleaders at Springfield Local. We'll have the game against Campbell Memorial, 7 o'clock tomorrow night on YSNlive.com. But, Lexi, on behalf of DJ and myself and all of us, we wish you nothing but the best in your future here. We know it's going to be a great one, and we look forward to maybe talking again. And tell Joe that Tigers table is my favorite place. Thank him for letting us be a part of this interview and letting you do this. And uh, I look forward to another great dinner tomorrow night. Thank you so much for everything. I appreciate everything you guys have done for us students in the community. All righty. You have a good night. Thanks, Lex.